Hi, I'm Kevin Thomas. Welcome back to the At Home Film Festival. I'm continuing my Upon Request theme for the month. Um, each week I'm picking a different theme that you guys gave me. Please give me some comments below. I only have a couple weeks left for this month. This week's theme comes from Carol. It's Tom Cruise movies. I almost wasn't going to do this because I try to use this festival as a way to introduce you to movies you may not have heard of. Who does not know Tom Cruise movies. 20 of his movies surpassed $100 million at the domestic box office, and 36 of his films surpassed $100 million internationally, and some of them gross like $600 million. So how can I discover or introduce you to a Tom Cruise movie? You probably have seen them all, but have you? But what made me take on this theme from Carol is... She also wondered, maybe for me to be analytical, why does she like Tom Cruise? So let's take a look at some of his movies. At the end, I will give you a theory about why Carol is drawn to Tom Cruise. There are very few that are free on different devices, but I'll point those out. But they're just a couple of dollars, so let's start. Let's go. First, we have representing the young Tom Cruise, because he was making movies when he was about 19 years old. He did several in a row, but his first really big above the title movie was All the Right Moves. This was after Risky Business, which was his big breakthrough film. It was the same year, but this did not get the box office it deserved like Risky Business did. But this movie is really good. It also shows Tom's acting chops. He plays a star football player in a little town that he wants to get out of, so hoping for a scholarship. But he has kind of an attitude, so people, his coach, really doesn't want to help him succeed because he doesn't like his attitude. This movie is really good. Tom's an amazing actor. And this also shows that he's sort of a, a, a method actor because he actually went to high school to prep for this film so he could feel what it's like to be at the school that it's sort of representing. Um, he didn't last there very long because someone had already recognized him from one of his early two movies, which he wasn't even the lead star. He must have such charisma that people remember him. Anyway, check out All the Right Moves. You will be glad that you did. Perhaps one reason that Carol is interested in the career of Tom Cruise is he, he's not afraid to take the back seat. He has worked alongside three people in their Oscar-winning performances, so he allowed them to shine. He also co-starred with five other people that got nominated for their roles in his films. So I'm kind of encompassing that with one movie, The Color of Money, because he also worked with Martin Scorsese. In fact, if you think about it, Tom Cruise has worked with every major director, Spielberg, De Palma, Scorsese, Ron Howard. Let's see who else we have. I have a list. Stanley Kubrick, Francis Coppola, Oliver Stone. He's really worked with every great director. So this movie is T Paul Newman's Oscar winner. After many nominations, he won one Oscar. And right alongside him is Tom Cruise, but Tom doesn't seem to mind letting Paul have the spotlight because Tom, of course, makes his own impression. And Tom worked with other great actors in their Oscar-winning roles. So this movie represents Tom willing to be your great co-star and support you so you could get all the glory. So thank you, Tom. And yet, Tom also wins awards and gets nominations. He was nominated three times for the Academy Award, and he won for those same movies, The Golden Globe, which he recently gave back due to all the controversy. Anyway, of all those movies he was Oscar nominated for, all three of them, Jerry Maguire, Born on the Fourth of July, those were very successful. Magnolia, though, did not make a lot of money. This should have been his Oscar winner. He plays a TV inspirational coach to help uplift people and, of course, for money. He's also empowering men, <laughs> which actually in today's world, even yesterday's world, men don't need any more power. But his performance is amazing. In fact, I would like you to take a quick look at a few clips. Let's take a look at that. Respect the cock. What kind of motivation is that? And tame the cunt. Tame it. Take it on head first with the skills that I will teach you at work and say no. You will not control me. No. You will not take my soul. No. You will not win this game. 
Because it is a game, guys, you want to think it's not, huh? You want to think it's not, you go back to the schoolyard, you have that crush on big-titted Mary Jane. <laughs> Respect the cock. Next, we've got Tom Cruise willing to take chances. And the movie Rock of Ages is definitely a chance. It actually was a giant flop. It cost $75 million and didn't even get close to making that back. But you could watch it free on HBO, so why don't you? And by the way, when this movie came out, I did not like it. I'm still not the biggest fan. I like the Broadway musical better. But the thing I did like about it was Tom Cruise. He plays a rock star, and Tom could not sing before this movie. He really gets into his roles. Maybe that's why Carol likes him, because he studied for five months singing. He worked on his diaphragm. He worked to keep his body tight. So his Stacy Jacks is an amazing character, and he gives a really good performance in a movie that's just okay. But anyway, let's hear Tom as a rock star. Real rock stars actually admired his work too, by the way. chances are perhaps reasons why Carol and others are drawn to Tom Cruise. He has made so many different movies with chances. One of them is Eyes Wide Shut, which is very much a taboo subject. It involves S&M, perhaps, and secret cults. So this movie is from Stanley Kubrick, which once again shows how all the great directors are willing to work with Tom Cruise. For I picked this movie because it wasn't quite the success as a lot of his other films. In its time, it made $56 million, which isn't a lot today. But if we translate it to today's monies, it's $112 million, which is still nice. But really, Tom knocks it out of the park all the time. So these smaller movies that didn't quite find the success should be reviewed and looked at. So here representing the blockbuster action films of Tom Cruise is Jack Reacher. I know you thought I was gonna say Mission Impossible, but we all know those movies. Those are his biggest successes. That franchise will not stop. There's still more of those to come out. Jack Reacher, though, only made $80 million, and its sequel only $60 million in the US, but internationally it really got the monies. But this is another great reason to like Tom Cruise. Um, it's action-oriented. And by the way, he mostly does his own stunts in all his films. But he is not the most desirable character. Tom is willing to show his characters have flaws and we still don't mind. We root for you, Tom Cruise. We want you to succeed. Jack Reacher is full of action. It's really good. It's, it's high up there on my list of his favorite movies. And it's a little semi-underdog. It's hard to find a, a, a flop Tom Cruise movie. There are some and some I don't even want to ever see, which still could be good, they just didn't appeal to me. But Jack Reacher is really good, just like all those Mission Impossibles, Minority Report. When he does action, he is in his wheelhouse. And let's not forget American Made, based upon a true story. Kind of action-y, more um, just of a drama. Um, Tom, once again, is not the most appealing 
admirable character? Well, he is appealing, but he's not always following the law because he plays a pilot that decides to be kind of a drug mule and bring you know drugs into this country. I thought it was one of his better acting roles. Um, didn't make the money that his other movies did. But this is available for free on FX Plus. So if you have that, you could watch this. In the meantime, please do enjoy American Made. So there we have it, Tom Cruise in his element. Really good actor, action star. And Carol, thank you for picking him out because hopefully I even introduce you to some of his less known pieces. But Carol, you know, you probably like him, first of all, Carol is someone I know. You're a 13-year-old boy trapped in a woman's body, so who would not like all these action movies? But Tom definitely is not a, a cookie-cutter actor. First of all, if we're following Hollywood standards, he's short. He's 5'7". Normally, a big star is not 5'7". He also is attractive, but he doesn't have that model, old-style movie look of a, a, a sexy star. But that's okay, because he's cute enough, but what he really does, it seems like he likes his co-stars, he's willing to take chances, he does his own stunts, and Carol, I know you don't follow his religion, but it's okay, because you're just watching his movie. So those are the reasons I think Carol and all of us really enjoy Tom Cruise, because he is really just one of us making millions of dollars, unlike most of us. But Tom, thank you for all the really good movies. We look forward to more coming out. I have next week's theme all lined up, so I would love for you, I have one more week then of upon uh, request. So what are you interested in below? Let me know, write to me below. I seem to be hearing from most people I know. I wouldn't mind doing it for a stranger. And the, till then, why don't you share, mm -hmm. subscribe, tell those who subscribe to share. And I'll be spending the week watching a bunch of Tom Cruise movies. Thank you, Tom. Dead or alive. <laughs>